Charleston is the most populous city in, and the capital of, the U.S. state of West Virginia. Located at the confluence of the Elk and Kanawha Rivers, the population during the 2016 census estimate was 49,138. The Charleston metropolitan area as a whole had 217,916 residents. Charleston is the center of government, commerce, and industry for Kanawha County, of which it is the county seat. Early industries important to Charleston included salt and the first natural gas well. Later, coal became central to economic prosperity in the city and the surrounding area. Today, trade, utilities, government, medicine, and education play central roles in the city's economy. The first permanent settlement, Feet. Lee, was built in 1788. In 1791, Daniel Boone was a member of the Kanawha County Assembly. Charleston is the home of the West Virginia Power Minor League Baseball Team, the West Virginia Wild Minor League Basketball Team, and the annual 15-mile Charleston distance run. Yeager Airport and the University of Charleston are also in the city. West Virginia University, Marshall University, and West Virginia State University also have campuses in the area. History Timeline Beginnings After the American Revolutionary War, pioneers began making their way out from the early settlements. Many slowly migrated into the western part of Virginia. Capitalizing on its many resources made Charleston an important part of Virginia and West Virginia history. Today, Charleston is the largest city in the state and the state capital. Charleston's history goes back to the 18th century. Thomas Bullitt was deeded 1,250 acres 5 square kilometers of land near the mouth of the Elk River in 1773. It was inherited by his brother, Cuthbert Bullitt, upon his death in 1778, and sold to Col. George Clendenin in 1786. The first permanent settlement, Fort Lee, was built in 1787 by Col. Savannah Clendenin and his company of Virginia Rangers. This structure occupied the area that is now the intersection of Brook Street and Kanawha Boulevard. Historical conjecture indicates that Charleston is named after Col. Clendenin's father, Charles. Charlestown was later shortened to Charleston to avoid confusion with another Charlestown in eastern West Virginia, which was named after George Washington's brother Charles. Six years later, the Virginia General Assembly officially established Charleston. On the 40 acres 160,000 square meters that made up the town in 1794, 35 people inhabited seven houses. Charleston is part of Kanawha County. The origin of the word Kanawha pronounced ka -na", ka -h -na derives from the region's Iroquois dialects meaning waterway or canoe way, implying the metaphor transport way in the local language. It was and is the name of the river that flows through Charleston. The grammar of the hard H sound soon dropped out as new arrivals of various European languages developed West Virginia. The phrase has been a matter of register sociolinguistics. In fact, a two-story jail was the first county structure ever built, with the first floor literally dug into the bank of the Kanawha River. Daniel Boone, who was commissioned a lieutenant colonel of the Kanawha County Militia, was elected to serve in 1791 in the Virginia House of Delegates. As told in historical accounts, Boone walked all the way to Richmond. Industrial growth By the early 19th century, salt brines were discovered along the Kanawha River and the first salt well was drilled in 1806. This created a prosperous time and great economic growth for the area. By 1808, 1,250 pounds of salt were being produced a day. An area adjacent to Charleston, Kanawha Salines, now Malden, would become the top salt producer in the world. In 1818, Kanawha Salt Company, first trust in United States, went into operation. Captain James Wilson, while drilling for salt, struck the first natural gas well in 1815. 
It was drilled at the site that is now the junction of Brooks Street and Kanawha Boulevard near the present-day state capitol complex. In 1817, coal was first discovered and gradually became used as the fuel for the salt works. The Kanawha salt industry declined in importance after 1861, until the onset of World War I brought a demand for chemical products. The chemicals needed were chlorine and sodium hydroxide, which could be made from salt brine. Political growth The town continued to grow until the Civil War began in 1861. The state of Virginia seceded from the Union, and Charleston was divided between Union and Confederate loyalty. On September 13, 1862, the Union and Confederate armies met in the Battle of Charleston. Although the Confederate States Army was victorious, occupation of the city was short-lived. Union troops returned just six weeks later and stayed through the end of the war. The northern hold on Charleston and most of the western part of Virginia created an even larger problem. Virginia already had seceded from the Union, but the western part was under Union control. The issue of statehood was raised. So amid the tumultuous Civil War, West Virginia officially became a state through presidential proclamation. Abraham Lincoln declared the northwestern portion of Virginia to be returned to the Union, and on June 20, 1863, West Virginia became the 35th state. In addition to the issue of slavery, West Virginia was also driven to separate from Virginia for economic reasons. The heavy industries in the north, particularly the steel business of the upper Ohio River region, were dependent on the coal available from western Virginia mines. Federalized military units were dispatched from Ohio to western Virginia early in the war to secure access to the coal mines and transportation resources. Although the state now existed, settling on a state capital location proved to be difficult. For several years, the capital of West Virginia intermittently traveled between Wheeling and Charleston. In 1877, however, state citizens voted on the final location of their capital. Charleston received 41,243 votes, Clarksburg received 29,442 and Martinsburg received 8,046. Wheeling was not an available option for voting. Charleston was chosen and eight years later, the first Capitol building was opened. After a fire in 1921, a hastily built structure was opened but burned down in 1927. However, a Capitol Building Commission, created by the legislature in 1921, authorized construction of the present Capitol. Architect Cass Gilbert designed the buff Indiana limestone structure, in the Italian Renaissance style, that was to have a final cost of just under $10 million. After the three stages of construction were completed, Governor William G. Conley dedicated the West Virginia State Capitol on June 20, 1932. topic 20th century Charleston became the center for state government natural resources such as coal and natural gas along with railroad expansion also contributed to growth new industries such as chemical glass timber and steel migrated to the state attracted by the area's natural resources there was a huge amount of new construction in Charleston a number of those buildings, including churches and office buildings, still stand in the heart of downtown along and bordering Capitol Street. During World War II, the first and largest styrene butadiene plant in the U.S. opened in nearby Institute, providing a replacement for rubber to the war effort. After the war ended, Charleston was on the brink of some significant construction. One of the first during this period was Kanawha Airport, now Yeager Airport named after General Chuck Yeager, which was perhaps one of the most phenomenal engineering accomplishments of its time. Built in 1947, the construction encompassed clearing 360 acres square kilometers on three mountaintops moving more than 9 million cubic yards of earth. The Charleston Civic Center opened in 1959. Charleston began to be integrated into the interstate highway system in the 1960s when three major interstate systems — I-64, I-77 and I-79 were designated, all converging in Charleston. Topic Modern development In 1983, the Charleston Town Center opened its doors downtown. It was the largest urban-based mall east of the Mississippi River, featuring three stories of shops and eateries. Downtown revitalization began in earnest in the late 1980s as well. 
Funds were set aside for streetscaping as Capitol and Courier Streets saw new building facades, trees along the streets, and brick walkways installed. For a time, the opening of the Charleston Town Center Mall had a somewhat negative impact on the main streets of downtown Charleston, as many businesses closed and relocated into the mall. For a while, the downtown business district outside of the mall had a ghost town feel to it which took several years to turn around. Today, Capitol Street, Hale Street, and other bordering streets are an eclectic mixture of restaurants, shops, businesses and services that many call the centerpiece of downtown. The new Robert C. Byrd Federal Building, Haddad Riverfront Park and Capitol Market are just a few new developments that have helped growth in the downtown area during the 1990s. Charleston also became known as one of the premier healthcare spots in the state. Along with ambitious thinking, plans for even new entertainment and business venues kept Charleston moving along at a steady pace. In 1983, WV Public Radio launched a live performance radio program statewide called Mountain Stage. What began as a live, monthly statewide broadcast went on to national distribution in 1986. Now in its 34th season, Mountain Stage with Larry Gross records 26 two-hour programs each year, mostly at the Cultural Center Theater in Charleston, and is heard on over 100 radio stations through national public radio and around the world on the Voice of America satellite service. 2003 marked the opening of the Clay Center for the Arts and Sciences. The center includes the Mayer Foundation Performance Hall, the Walker Theater, the Avampato Discovery Museum and an art museum. Also on site is the Electric Sea Theater, which is a 175-seat combination planetarium and dome screen cinema. Movies shown at the theater include educational large format 70 mm presentations, and are often seen in similar Omnimax theaters. Planetarium shows are staged as a combination of pre-recorded and live presentations. Many festivals and events were also incorporated into the calendar, including Multifest, Vandalia Festival, a July 4 celebration with fireworks at Haddad Riverfront Park, and the already popular Sternwheel Regatta, which was founded in 1970, provided a festive atmosphere for residents to enjoy. In 2005 Festival Charleston was established and has grown into a 10-day festival offering a variety of performances, events and exhibits in music, dance, theater, visual arts and other entertainments. Charleston has one central agency for its economic development efforts, the Charleston Area Alliance. The alliance works with local public officials and the private sector to build the economy of the region and revitalize its downtown. Charleston also has an economic and community development organization focused on the East End and West Side urban neighborhood business districts, Charleston Main Streets. Geography <laughs> 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 Charleston is located at 38 degrees 20 minutes 58 seconds north 81 degrees 38 minutes 0 seconds west 38.349497, minus 81.633294. It lies within the ecoregion of the Western Allegheny Plateau. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 32.66 square miles, 84.59 square kilometers, of which 31.52 square miles, 81.64 square kilometers is land and 1.14 square miles, 2.95 square kilometers is water. The city lies at the intersection of Interstate 79, 77, 64, and also where the Kanawha and Elk Rivers meet. Charleston is about 117 miles 188 kilometers southeast of Chillicothe, Ohio, 315 miles 507 kilometers west of Richmond, Virginia, 228 miles 367 kilometers southwest of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 247 miles 398 kilometers east of Louisville, Kentucky, 264 miles 425 kilometers north of Charlotte, North Carolina, 89 miles 143 kilometers south of Marietta, Ohio, and 210 miles 340 kilometers southeast of Cincinnati, Ohio. <laughs> Communities within Charleston The following are neighborhoods and communities within the city limits. Suburbs <laughs> 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 The following communities are within the Greater Charleston area. 
Topic: <laughs> Climate. Charleston has a four-season humid subtropical climate Copen CFA with continental climate DFA elements. Especially in winter, Charleston's average temperatures are warmer than the rest of the state, due to the city being west of the higher elevations. Spring is the most unpredictable season, and spring-like weather usually arrives in late March or early April. From the beginning of March through early May, temperatures can vary considerably and it is not unusual at this time for day-to-day -day temperature fluctuations to exceed 20 degrees Fahrenheit 11 degrees Celsius. Temperatures warm up considerably in late May, with warm summer-like days. Summer is warm to hot, with 23 days of highs at or above 90 degrees Fahrenheit 32 degrees Celsius, sometimes reaching 95 degrees Fahrenheit 35 degrees Celsius, often accompanied by high humidity. Autumn features crisp evenings that warm quickly to mild to warm afternoons. Winters are chilly, with a January daily average of 34.4 degrees Fahrenheit 1.3 degrees Celsius, and with a mean of 16 days with maxima at or below the freezing mark. Snowfall generally occurs from late November to early April, with the heaviest period being January and February. However, major snowstorms of more than 10 inches 25 centimeters are rare. The area averages about 3.5 inches of precipitation each month. Thunderstorms are frequent during the late spring and throughout the summer, and occasionally they can be quite severe, producing the rare tornado. Record temperatures have ranged from minus 17 degrees Fahrenheit minus 27 degrees Celsius on December 30, 1917 to 108 degrees Fahrenheit 42 degrees Celsius on August 6, 1918 and July 4, 1931. Government Charleston functions under the mayor-council form of city government. The mayor is the designated chief executive officer of the city with the duty to see that all of the laws and ordinances of the city are enforced. The mayor gives general supervision over all executive departments, offices and agencies of the city government and is the presiding officer of the council and a voting member thereof. The mayor is an independent, Danny Jones, who was elected in 2003, and re-elected in 2007, 2011 and 2015. Jones was elected all four times as a Republican, but he announced on June 17, 2016, that he had decided to leave the Republican Party and register unaffiliated. Charleston also has a city manager who is appointed by the mayor and approved by the council. The city manager has supervision and control of the executive work and management of the heads of all departments under his control as directed by the mayor, makes all contracts for labor and supplies, and generally has the responsibility for all of the business and administrative work of the city. With 26 members, the Charleston City Council is somewhat larger than usual for a city with a population of less than 50,000. Twenty of the council members are elected from a specific ward within the city, and an additional six members are elected by the city at large. General elections for mayor, city council and other city officers take place in May every four years. Primary elections are held in March. The most recent election was in May 2015. Demographics <laughs> 2010 census As of the census of 2010, there were 51,400 people, 23,453 households, and 12,587 families residing in the city. The population density was 1630.7 inhabitants per square mile, 629.6 per square kilometers. There were 26205 housing units at an average density of 831.4 per square miles, 321.0 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the city was 78.4% white, 15.5% African American, 0.2% Native American, 2.3% Asian, 0.3% from other races, and 3.2% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 1.4% of the population. 
There were 23,453 households of which 24.6% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 35.6% were married couples living together, 14.1% had a female householder with no husband present, 3.9% had a male householder with no wife present, and 46.3% were non-families, 39.4% of all households were made up of individuals and 13.5% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.11 and the average family size was 2.83. The median age in the city was 41.7 years, 20.1% of residents were under the age of 18, 9% were between the ages of 18 and 24, 24.9% were from 25 to 44, 29.9% were from 45 to 64, and 16.1% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 47.6% male and 52.4% female. Topic: 2000 census. As of the census of 2000, there were 53,421 people, 24,505 households, and 13,624 families residing in the city. The population density was 1,690.4 people per square mile 652.7 per square kilometers. There were 27,131 housing units at an average density of 858.5 per square miles 331.5 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the city was 80.63% white, 15.07% black or African American, 0.24% Native American, 1.83% Asian, 0.03% Pacific Islander, 0.30% from other races, and 1.91% from two or more races. 0.81% of the population were Hispanics or Latinos of any race. The five most common ancestries were German 12.4%, English 11.6%, American 11.4%, Irish 10.6%, and Italian 3.9%. There were 24,505 households out of which 23.7% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 38.9% were married couples living together, 13.5% had a female householder with no husband present, and 44.4% were non families, 38.9% of all households were made up of individuals and 14.5% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.11 and the average family size was 2.82. The age distribution was 20.7% under 18, 8.4% from 18 to 24, 27.9% from 25 to 44, 25.3% from 45 to 64, and 17.6% .6 who were 65 or older. The median age was 41 years. For every 100 females there were 87.3 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 83.7 males. The median income for a household in the city was $34,009, and the median income for a family was $47,975. Males had a median income of $38,257 versus $26,671 for females. The per capita income for the city was $26,017. About 12.7% of families and 16.7% of the population were below the poverty line, including 24.5% of those under age 18 and 11.3% of those age 65 or over. Education <inaudible> 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 The city of Charleston has numerous schools that are part of Kanawha County Schools. The three high schools are Capital High School, a public school in the community of Meadowbrook. It was established by the consolidation of Charleston High School and Stonewall Jackson High School. It opened in 1989. George Washington High School, a public school in the South Hills neighborhood. It opened in 1964. Charleston Catholic High School, a Catholic school at the eastern edge of the city's downtown. It opened in 1923. 
Topic: <laughs> Former high schools. Charleston High School, across the street from CAMC General Hospital. It was founded in 1916 and closed in 1989. Stonewall Jackson High School, on the west side. It was founded in 1940 and closed in 1989 to become a middle school. <laughs> <laughs> middle schools Stonewall Jackson Middle School on the west side. John Adams Middle School in South Hills. Horace Mann Middle School in Kanawha City. Andrew Jackson Middle School in Cross Lanes. Elementary schools Chamberlain Elementary School, Edgewood Elementary School, Elk Elementary School Grandview Elementary School Holes Elementary School Kanawha City Elementary School Kenna Elementary School Piedmont Elementary School Overbrook Elementary School Ruffner Elementary School Shoals Elementary School Weberwood Elementary School Bible Center School private, Christian, non-denominational Charleston Montessori School private, non-sectarian Mountaineer Montessori School private non-sectarian Sacred Heart School private catholic St Agnes School private catholic Montrose Elementary School Mary C Snow West Side Elementary School Topic <laughs> Colleges and Universities Charleston hosts a branch campus of West Virginia University that serves as a clinical campus for the university's medical and dental schools. Students at either school must complete their class work at the main campus in Morgantown but can complete their clinical rotations at hospitals in Morgantown, the Eastern Panhandle, or Charleston. Students from West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine may also complete their clinical rotations at the branch campus, after completing their first two academic years at the main campus in Lewisburg. The city is also home to a 1,000-student private college, the University of Charleston, formerly Morris Harvey College. The college is on McCorkle Avenue along the banks of the Kanawha River in the community of South Ruffner. Within the immediate area are West Virginia State University and Institute, Bridge Valley Community and Technical College, South Charleston Campus, and the Marshall University, South Charleston Campus, both in South Charleston. The region is also home to the Charleston branch of the Robert C. Byrd Institute for Advanced Flexible Manufacturing, an independent program administered by Marshall University. It provides access to computer numerical control (CNC) equipment for businesses in two states. Approximately 30 miles (50 kilometers) from Charleston, West Virginia University Institute of Technology has its campus in Montgomery, West Virginia. West Virginia University Institute of Technology is the largest regional campus of the university and focuses mainly on engineering programs. Bridge Valley Community and Technical College, Montgomery Campus is also in Montgomery. Charleston is also home to West Virginia Junior College's Charleston Campus. In downtown Charleston at 1000 Virginia Street, W.V. Junior College is accredited by the Accrediting Council for Independent Colleges and Schools to award diplomas and associate degrees. Part of the Kanawha Valley for almost 115 years, W.V. Junior College was originally established as Capital City Commercial College on September 1, 1892. The college was originally established to train students in secretarial and business skills and has undergone changes in location and curriculum through the years. Hospitals CAMC Charleston Area Medical Center a complex of hospitals throughout the city. CAMC Memorial Hospital in the Kanawha City neighborhood. CAMC General Hospital in Eastern Downtown. CAMC Women and Children's Hospital on the banks of the Elk River in Downtown. St. Francis Hospital Downtown. Topic: Economy. Topic: 
Topic: Notable companies headquartered in the Charleston area. Appalachian Power, owned by American Electric Power of Columbus, Ohio. Mountaineer Gas Company. City Holding Company, City National Bank. Charleston Newspapers. Gestamp Automocean. Matric, Mid-Atlantic Technology Research and Innovation Center, South Charleston. Tudor's Biscuit World, Nitro. United Bank of West Virginia, Inc. Walker Machinery in Bell. West Virginia American Water Company. Topic: Notable companies founded in Charleston. Shoney's Restaurants. Hex, L.A. Joe Discount Department Stores. Topic: Economic Development. The City of Charleston recognizes the Charleston Area Alliance as its economic development organization. Topic: Culture. Topic: Annual events and fairs. Charleston is home to numerous annual events and fairs that take place throughout the city, from the banks of the Kanawha River to the Capitol grounds. The West Virginia Dance Festival, held between April 25 and 30, features dance students from across the state that attend classes and workshops in ballet, jazz and modern dance. At the finale, the students perform in the West Virginia State Theater, these are free to the public. Beginning in 1982, Symphony Sunday, held annually usually the first weekend in June, is a full day of music, food, and family fun, culminating in a free performance by the West Virginia Symphony Orchestra and a fireworks display following. Throughout the day, local performing community dance and music ensembles present a series of their own selected pieces with the final performance being by the West Virginia Symphony Orchestra. The local performing community dance and music ensembles that perform for Symphony Sunday include the Kanawha Valley Ringers, the West Virginia Kickers, the Charleston Metro Band, the West Virginia Youth Symphony, the Mountain State Brass Band, and the Kanawha Valley Community Band. The now defunct Charleston Neophonic Orchestra has also performed at the event. The NPR program Mountain Stage was founded in Charleston in 1983. The live performance music program, produced by West Virginia Public Broadcasting, and heard on The Voice of America and via NPR Music, records episodes regularly at the Culture Center Theater on the West Virginia State Capitol grounds. Twice a year, in late April and again in early November, the West Virginia International Film Festival occurs, where many domestic and international films are shown that range from full-length feature films, shorts, documentaries, animation and student films. Charleston hosts the annual Gazette Mail Kanawha County Majorette and Band Festival for the eight public high schools in Kanawha County. The festival began in 1947 and has continued on as an annual tradition. The festival is held at the University of Charleston Stadium at Laidley Field in downtown Charleston. It is the state's oldest music festival. On Memorial Day weekend, the Vandalia Gathering is held on the grounds of the state capitol. Thousands of visitors each year enjoy traditional music, art, dance, stories, crafts and food that stems from the uniqueness of West Virginia's mountain culture. Since 2005 Festival has provided the Charleston area with cultural and artistic events beginning on June 20 West Virginia Day and including dance, theater, and music. Festival provides local artists a valuable chance to display their works and help get others interested in, and involved with, the local artistic community. Highlights include an art fair on Capitol Street and local bands playing live music at stages set up throughout downtown, as well as a wine and jazz festival on the campus of the University of Charleston featuring local and nationally known jazz artists and showcasing the products of West Virginia vineyards. The Charleston Sternwheel Regatta founded in 1970, is a former annual event that was held on Labor Day weekend of each year. The event had carnival-style rides and attractions and live music from local and nationally known bands. It was held on the Kanawha Boulevard by Haddad Riverfront Park on the Kanawha River. The event started the Wednesday before Labor Day weekend and ended the Sunday of Labor Day weekend with a fireworks show on Sunday evening. 
Due to political differences between local sternwheel owners and factions of city government, sternwheel attendance declined in recent years. Once a promising regatta, rivaling tall stacks in Cincinnati, it was discontinued after the 2008 festival season. Charleston, home to the largest population of privately owned sternwheel vessels in the United States is the only city in the region not home to an annual river festival. Topic historical structures and museums Charleston possesses a number of older buildings which represent a variety of historical architectural styles. About 50 places in Charleston are included on the National Register of Historic Places. A segment of the East End consisting of several blocks of both Virginia and Courier Streets, encompassing an area of nearly a full square mile, has been officially designated as a historical neighborhood. This residential neighborhood has many houses dating from the late 19th and early 20th century as well as a few Art Deco-style apartment buildings dating from the 1920s and early 30s. Downtown Charleston is home to several commercial buildings that are between 80 and 115 years old, including such notable structures as the Security Building corner of Virginia and Capitol Street, 405 Capitol Street the former Daniel Boone Hotel, the Union Building at the southern end of Capitol Street, the Kanawha County Courthouse, the Public Library corner of Capitol and Courier Streets and the Masonic Temple corner of Virginia and Dickinson Street. Also of note are several historic churches grouped closely together in a neighborhood just to the east of downtown, Basilica of the Co-Cathedral of the Sacred Heart one of the two cathedrals of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Wheeling Charleston, First Presbyterian Church, Kanawha United Presbyterian Church, St. John's Episcopal Church, Charleston Baptist Temple, St. Paul's Evangelical Lutheran Church, and Christ Church United Methodist. Additional historic buildings can be found throughout the city, particularly in the broader East End, the West Side and Kanawha City. Some of these buildings include, Avampato Discovery Museum, part of the Clay Center for the Arts and Sciences, Sunrise Museum, now part of the Clay Center for the Arts and Sciences, West Virginia State Museum South Charleston Museum, South Charleston, St. George Orthodox Cathedral, founded in 1892. Street. Marks United Methodist Church, the Capitol Theater Women's Club of Charleston Topic <laughs> Parks and Outdoor Attractions University of Charleston Stadium at Laidley Field Used for football, soccer, track and festivals Appalachian Power Park Stadium of the West Virginia Power Cato Park Charleston's largest municipal park, including a golf course, Olympic-sized swimming pool and picnic areas. Pickle Park — includes swimming pool, boathouse, clubhouse with dining facilities, tennis courts, putt-putt golf, an 18-hole par 3 golf course, driving range, and fishing lake. Schoenbaum Soccer Field and Amphitheater inside the park is the home of the West Virginia Chaos Soccer Team. Daniel Boone Park — a four-acre park with a boat ramp, fishing and picnic facilities Danner Meadow Park Kanawha State Forest — a 9,300-acre forest, including 46 campsites in the community of Loudendale Little Creek Park — used for soccer, baseball, softball, basketball, tennis, disc golf and soapbox derbies. Picnic facilities are also available. Magic Island — an area at the junction of the Elk River and the Kanawha River, near Kanawha Boulevard. Davis Park Haddad Riverfront Park Ruffner Park Shawnee Park Sports The West Virginia Chaos is a soccer team that plays its home games at Schoenbaum Stadium in Charleston. The team plays in the USL Premier Development League PDL, the fourth tier of the American Soccer Pyramid, in the South Atlantic Division of the Eastern Conference. Topic: Shopping. The Charleston Town Center opened in 1983. The Town Center Mall is a three-story shopping and dining facility with 130 specialty stores. Macy's and J.C. Penny are the mall's anchor stores. The fourth anchor pad is occupied by the headquarters for Brick Street Mutual Insurance Co., a private West Virginia-based workers' compensation insurance carrier. 
There are also six major restaurants on street level and twelve fast food restaurants representing the food court, on the mall's third floor. There are five major shopping plazas in Charleston, two in the Kanawha City neighborhood, the shops at Kanawha and Kanawha Landing along with three in the Southridge area, divided between Charleston and South Charleston—Southridge Center, Dudley Farms Plaza, and the shops at Trace Fork. Major stores include the shops at Kanawha Plaza, Southridge Center Plaza, Dudley Farms Plaza, and the shops at Trace Fork Plaza. Notable people Jim Justice, Governor of West Virginia Diplomat and attorney Harriet C. Babbitt, born in Charleston Olympic shot put gold and silver medalist Randy Barnes MMA fighter Brian Bowles, bantamweight champion Extreme metal band Byzantine formed and based in Charleston Professional wrestler Kevin Kanadi, founder of IWA East Coast Actress Jean Carson Cisco Systems CEO John Chambers H. Rajan Cohen, banker Newspaper publisher and U.S. Senator William E. Chilton Chemist Basudeb Dasarma Actor Douglas Dick Photographer Barbara Dumitz was born in Charleston Classical composer George Crum was born in Charleston Actress Conchata Farrell Paul Frame, chiropractor and former ballet dancer Peter Frame, ballet dancer William Frischkorn, cyclist Actress and alias star Jennifer Garner was born in Houston, moved with her family to Princeton, West Virginia, then Charleston as a child and grew up there, graduating from City's George Washington High School Elizabeth Hardin Gilmore, civil rights activist Alexis Hornbuckle, professional basketball player, NCAA champion at Tennessee Professional baseball player and coach J. R. House Basketball player and broadcaster Hot Rod Hundley John G. Hutchinson, Mayor 1971-80 Televangelist T. D. Jakes was born and raised in adjacent city of South Charleston, ministry was based in suburban community of Cross Lanes Soap opera actress Leslie Kay who has appeared on As the World Turns, General Hospital and the Bold and the Beautiful George King, NBA player and head coach of West Virginia and Purdue Former Major League Baseball player and current sportscaster John Cruck was born in Charleston, but grew up in Kaiser in state's eastern panhandle Special effects artist Robert R.J. Hattie was born and resides in Charleston Actress Allison Hayes Actress Anne Magnuson Country singer Kathy Matea was born in South Charleston, lived in Cross Lanes, graduating from Nitro High School NASA astronaut John McBride was born in Charleston George Armitage Miller, one of the founders of the field of cognitive psychology, was born here. Would-be presidential assassin Sarah Jane Moore was born in Charleston National Football League player Randy Moss grew up in Rand, adjacent to Malden, graduating from DuPont High School, which is now DuPont Middle School. Actor Nick Nolte lived in the South Hills neighborhood of Charleston during the 1980s. National Football League player Rick Newsom was born in Charleston. Pop singer Caroline Payton. Phil Fister, winner of Strongest Man Competition, is a firefighter for CFD. Creator of Droodles and television personality Roger Price Actress Kristen Rulin Country singer Red Sovine was born in Charleston Civil rights activist Rev. Leon Sullivan was born in Charleston NFL player Russ Thomas, general manager of Detroit Lions 1967-89, attended high school in Charleston Actor and True Blood star Sam Trammell was born in New Orleans, but grew up in Charleston, graduating from City's George Washington High School. For a time, Booker T. Washington, the writer, educator, and early civil rights leader, lived in Malden, just upriver from Charleston. Tennis player Ann White attended John Adams Jr. High School and graduated from George Washington High School. Miami Heat point guard Jason Williams, who grew up in Bell in the same vicinity, was a high school teammate of Moss Daniel Webster, longest-serving Florida legislator, was born in Charleston Athlete and coach Harry Young, member of College Football Hall of Fame Media
Topic: Print. Charleston's only major newspaper is the Charleston Gazette Mail. Topic: Radio. Charleston has a total of 11 radio stations AM and FM licensed in the city. Most of the stations are owned either by the West Virginia Radio Corporation or by the Bristol Broadcasting Company. Asterisk represents radio stations that are licensed to the city of Charleston. Television <inaudible> 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 The Charleston Huntington TV market is the second largest television market in terms of area, east of the Mississippi River and 64th largest in terms of households in the US serving counties in central West Virginia, eastern Kentucky, and southern Ohio. There are 4 VHF and 10 UHF television stations in the market. Topic: <laughs> Infrastructure Topic. Tallest buildings There are 21 high-rise buildings in Charleston. Laidley Tower is the tallest structure in the downtown area. Topic. Airports Yeager Airport is West Virginia's largest airport serving more than twice as many passengers as all other WV airports combined. It is 2 mile 3 kilometers north of Interstate 64 and Interstate 77, accessible via WV 114. Rail Amtrak, the national passenger rail service, provides tri-weekly service to Charleston via the Cardinal routes. The Amtrak station is on the south side of the Kanawha River, at 350 McCorkle Avenue near downtown. Historically, until the 1960s, several daily Chesapeake and Ohio Railway trains traversed central West Virginia, making stops in Charleston. Destinations in the Midwest included St. Louis, Chicago, Detroit and Louisville. To the east the trains terminated in either Washington, D.C. or Newport News, Virginia. These featured the fast-flying Virginian, George Washington, and the sportsman. Into the late 1940s, the New York Central Railroad operated passenger trains between Columbus, Ohio and Charleston. River Interstate 64 crosses the Kanawha River four times as it passes through the Charleston metropolitan area. The Elk River flows into the Kanawha River in downtown Charleston. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Roads. Charleston is served by Interstate 64, Interstate 77, and Interstate 79. The West Virginia Turnpike's northern terminus is at the southeastern end of the city. Two U.S. routes, U.S. 60 and U.S. 119, cut through the city center. US 21 and US 35 formerly ran through Charleston. WV 25, WV 61, WV 62, and WV 114 are all state highways that are within Charleston city limits. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Mass Transit. Charleston is served by Kanawha Valley Regional Transportation Authority. Topic taxi service C and H taxi services the Kanawha Valley. Topic utilities. Electricity in Charleston is provided by Appalachian Power, a division of American Electric Power of Columbus, Ohio. Appalachian Power is headquartered in Charleston. Suddenlink Communications provides the Charleston area's cable TV. Landline phone service in Charleston is provided by Frontier Communications. The city's water supply is provided by Charleston-based West Virginia American Water, a subsidiary of American Water of Voorhees, N.J. The water that supplies Charleston is pumped from the Elk River and treated at the Kanawha Valley Water Treatment Plant. 
Charleston's natural gas is supplied by Mountaineer Gas, a division of Allegheny Energy of Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Sister city Charleston's sister city is Banska Bystrica, Slovakia 2009. See also Charleston, West Virginia portal USAT General Frank M. Cox was built in Charleston in 1922 by the Charles Ward Engineering Works. She served as an Army transport and later a cruise ship on San Francisco Bay. She is now preserved as a floating restaurant in Burlingame, California, just south of San Francisco. <laughs> Notes